So I wanted to build another bird feeder, and this time I made a uh, suet feeder. And uh, I got the plans from a, a book called Easy to Build Birdhouses, A Natural Approach. And it's written by a woodworker named A.J. Hamler. And if you're not familiar with A.J., um, he, he's made several books. Um, and, and he does a really good job of sort of laying it out and making it simple. Um, and, and, you know, as all of his other projects, it, it turned out great. And, and so did this one. Um, so anyways, um, this one, I you know, I actually stick to the, uh, to the plans pretty closely. Um, one thing, I, I use brads instead of screws on mine uh, just because I have a brad nailer. But uh, if you're not familiar with the uh, suet cakes, you just, you have a little suet cake, you drop it in, and you close it down, and then you're ready to go. So anyways, uh, check out my video of how I made this, and as always, check out my website at woodlogger.com where I've got more information and pictures um, about this project as well as other projects going on in my shop. So to get started with my bird feeder, the first thing I needed to do was cut grooves in the um, in my board, and this would allow the uh, wire mesh to set on both sides. And then I cut my um, uh, boards. I cross cut them using my table saw, uh, my sides, and as well as my uh, my bottom. So next up is the uh, feather rest, and in the the plan that I'm following. He's actually provided a, a really nice cutout. You can just make a photocopy and, and kind of lay it on and use that as a template. I've got these quick corners that I really like. And I'm actually going to use a, a number three. And I use these quite a bit. Make, make drawing some lines here very simple. That's all there is to that. You know, it kind of, it kind of, get your corner exactly the way you want it, and then I'll just cut this out uh, on my man saw. So the next step on my on my feeder is to use this wire mesh, and I, I don't know if this is technically chicken wire or what, but I, you know, I got the smallest um, amount that I could buy at a, at a hardware store. And uh, next up, you just have to kind of snip. You'll need wire snips for this uh, to just cut out exactly the length that you need. Okay, so I've got my wire mesh, and what I've done is I basically just kind of counted over the squares um, of how how deep and wide I'm going to need this. And I'm ready to just kind of cut that down. Okay, so next up I've got my, my sides, my bottom, and here's my other side. And I just need to glue these together. And then I'm actually going to use um, a one inch brad just to kind of help reinforce it a little bit. Um, gosh, maybe a one and a half inch brad would be better. Uh, okay, well I'll do that now. And uh, also one other thing, you'll, you'll want to make sure you use an exterior rated glue for that. You know, and I, I had someone tell me about this Elmer's glue. I, it seemed kind of silly at first, but you know, I've been using it for a little while now, and I really like it. it. It seems to hold up actually a little bit better than some of the other stuff. I've got my glue there. Use a brad to tack it in a little bit more. Okay, well, I went ahead and put one side in the uh, feeder, and next up, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the uh, roof of the feeder. I'm gonna lay it flat on a table. I'm gonna flip this upside down, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna find sort of the middle point, and from there I'll drill uh, kind of a small hole here and a small hole on the other side, um, as well as the top sides. And that, that's where my hanger is gonna be. Um, I'm gonna use a brass uh, rod. And if you look at AJ's book, he talks about that as kind of a, and it's a good tip. So, anyways, see, you feed the brass rod through, you bend it, and I'll, I'll do that next. Okay, so I've got my rooftop, and I'm going to drill a couple holes for the hanger to feed through. And I'm going to center this so. I'm going to find my center mark, which is about two inches. 
And then I want to come out about a half an inch. So right there. Same thing on this side, two inches. And then I want to come out about a half an inch as well. I'm going to mark that as well. Okay, well I've got my holes drilled for my roof. I've got my sides pre-drilled. I need to work on my hanger next. Well, so I've got my hanger and it's it's a brass rod. It's um, I cut it to 28 inches and I picked up one of these at just a, like a hobby store here in town. So the next thing I've got to do is I've actually got to bend this as a hanger for the uh, for the feeder. What I thought I would do is I would use the uh, the tail rest as kind of my my model and <laughs> hopefully this works. I guess we'll find out. Um, I think if I just kind of kind of bend it to the shape. Should be close enough. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's gonna do nicely. Uh, it's pretty even on, on each side. And so there's my hanger. So what I'll do is I'll feed that through the uh, through the roof, like so. the other side through. And there's my hanger. I just have to attach it to the sides. And what I'll do is I'll just bend these over so that they uh, attach in, in, inside to it. So I've got the tail rest ready to go. And in AJ's example that he has in his book, he actually um, drills pre-drill screw holes there and then kind of attaches it that way. I think what I'm going to do for mine though, I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to glue it and then I'll probably use some brad nails again uh, just to kind of give it some strength. Okay, well I've gone ahead and put the other side of the, uh, the grate that right there. And I think that's pretty solid. Next up, I just have to attach the um, holder to the sides. I think I'm just going to try and do just a straight bend. I think that'll work. Inside bend. Is that easy for the other side? Okay. I got both of my sides bent. Let's see if I can get those in there. The other side in. All right. Well, yeah. I think I. I think that's it. What do you know? Looky there by Cracky, I've got a bird feeder. So if you want more pictures and information about how I made this, uh, be sure to check out my website at woodlogger.com.